Hey there ninjas, how are we all today? Sorry it's been a while since I've released a video, but uh, today I just thought I would share something that I do pretty much on a daily basis, searching for new keyword opportunities and um, how I find profitable uh, niche, niches and um, yeah, how I find profitable keywords that I can write articles for that are either from my existing sites or ones that I want to create new websites for. So if you've been doing this for a while, then you know this might help you come up with different ideas of how I do it. If you're brand new to this, um, it's going to be, you know, it might be a bit complicated, it might be exciting for you, um, but I will let you know now that this tool that I'm about to use does cost money. It is fairly expensive if, um, you don't have money coming in or but I will say that it is well worth the money it's like $99 a month US and um, it's one of the tools that I use and it has actually helped me find a lot of um, you know keywords that I've created content for and it's later on brought in thousands of dollars and yeah, I mean, without this tool, I probably would not have found those keywords. So I highly recommend it. But if you don't have the money, there are free tools that sort of have limited features. But if you do have the money to spend, grab this tool because I'll grab this um, service because it is definitely worth it. There is other ones like Ahrefs, but I just prefer using SEMrush um, over that a lot of the time because I just like how it works. So what do I do? Because I'm um, creating affiliate websites that are sort of in a niche or whatever and what I'll normally, well the, web, the, the pages that normally make the most money for me are like review type um, pages or best of or you know something related to a pain or you know how to cure or how to treat, how to do, you know, how to sort of um, keywords and how I come across finding profitable ones is, you know, that sometimes people may not be promoting is by using this um, keyword research tool and digging into competitors' keywords and how, you know, what they're ranking for or, you know, they might not be ranking so well but they're showing up for it and we could go in and make um, content targeting those keywords and try and rank and get traffic and try and convert those into sales. So what I like to do is go to Google and search for you know things like product review and that'll give me a list of all different websites that have got you know product review this is for Australia so I'll just change that to .com see what comes up it's going a bit slow alright so what I could do you know even though this is an Australian site it's a very popular one it's a lot of traffic and ranks very well for a lot of keywords in Australia and everywhere else probably. I'll put that in and I'll do a domain search. Now, people that have been using this software, uh, this program might do things differently but this is just how I come across different keywords and things like that. Because it's already a review site I'm going to find a ton of um, different keywords I can go after. It's also good for like if you don't know what type of niche you want to go after this can give you a lot of good ideas as well uh, for some reason it's loading slow I think because it's either my internet or because it's a big site to crawl all right here we go all right so this gives us a bunch of da data and um, tells us a lot of things, you know, how many backlinks there are, how many organic searches it gets per month, um, what type of ads they're running, 
So you can sort of do a real big, um, you can really narrow down and research everything you need to know about this website. But the main things that I look at, you know, you can see what they're, the keywords that they're paying for. Um, a lot of the time, you'll know that they're um, profitable keywords because if they're paying for them keywords to um, be displayed, that obviously means that um, there's a good chance that they're making money from them. All right, so you know these could be keywords that bring you know a few visitors or whatever, and um, obviously bring in sales as well. But I'll just go back and I'll show you guys what I do. So I'll look up a website like this. And then I'll see their organic um, keywords that they rank for. So they rank for a lot of keywords. <clears throat> so it tells us a bit of a graph how they've grown. Um, and then it just tells us all the data, the data that they've, um, what they're ranking for. What I like to do though is filter all the crap out and just go for keywords that I'm interested in. Now, I'm interested in the review type keywords, so I'll type in the filter to filter out all the, off, just keep all the review type keywords. Now what this will do is show me a big list of those keywords with review in it. And then I can go along here and I can go, okay, what's something that I can easily rank for. I can have a look over here, it shows me, um, so I'll click that, it'll tell me what type of percentage that those keywords are bringing in and where they're ranking. Okay, so Hello Fresh reviews, which I think is a um, meal, um, like a meal prep service or something like that um, you know I could do a review on that and try and get some of their traffic and try and outrank that and then I'd probably you know recommend you know you could you could do an AdSense site or you could do a review on HelloFresh uh, tell people what it's all about and then at the bottom you can go well here's the website or here's an alternative and yeah get traffic to other pages or just get your pages ranking like I said you can put um, AdSense on there and make money that way as well so we've got all these other uh, review pages tells us what type of traffic that's bringing in and where they're ranking so something like this here saying it's not a great deal amount of searches per month but you know that's something that we could probably go after put up a page for it and um, yeah, have ads or have links to other pages or you know you might recommend this product that they might have a affiliate program they might not if they don't well then you find an alternative or you know try and get them onto a um, onto a list so you can build an email list with this traffic and then promote stuff that is, you know, that these people would be interested in. So yeah, you can go through here and, and there's tons and tons and tons of keyword ideas. You know, it tells you how easy it is. It tells you what the trends are doing. So this column here tells you, okay, well, um, this one here's on the trend again. Same as this one, which is just another website. This one here, Canvas Factory Reviews. So you can do that with all different sites. So another thing I like to do is, um, you know, like writing best. This is just a quick um, video to show you guys what this um, this tool can do or this service. So this time it's going to go through, it's going to find all the 
keywords it has that includes best. So it could be best washing machine, best vacuum cleaner, best whatever. And then we see what type of um, traffic it's bringing into that site or what, how, what type of search volume it has and how many results, if it's trending, you know, the less amount of results, the better. So say for this one here, for example, um, we could do a best of type article for that keyword and there's only 104,000 results for it. So it's less competition. You know, something like this one here would probably be, um, it's probably not that hard, but there's a lot of results for it because it's coffee related, I guess. Um, but yeah, you can go through here and you can see all these niche ideas or product uh, review ideas or best of lists and things like that. And you can put those on your pages, take it, try and get it ranking. You know, it might be hard to outrank these guys because they're so popular if they're ranking number one, but chances are, you know, some of these pages might not be optimized properly. I'll just pick one out of random. So these are Australian related keywords, but I'll just show you for example. So best humidifier Australia. And all it is is just a bunch of links going to all these different reviews. It's like user generated content, which is a very good idea actually. Uh, I'm working on something very similar. And yeah, so I'm pretty sure if you wrote up a big 3000 word article targeting that keyword, you could probably outrank these people for that and get a whole heap of different, um, you know, visitors from all different keywords and things like that that you have on your page too. So, I mean, what does that get? Not many searches, so, but I think it was on the trend. So that could be, you know, people could be starting to really search for that in Australia. Might be a certain time of the year. But um, it's just to give you guys an idea of, you know, certain things to go after. Um, and yeah, like you can put in all different sites. Like I said, let's have a look for an American one. So the consumer. Or you can even type in your niche and then reviews. So, for example, we go um, so vac vacuum cleaner reviews. So, this side here, trusted reviews, looks like a, a good example. I mean, this tool obviously does a lot more than than what I'm showing you. I mean, you can find competitors' backlinks and go after their backlinks and things like that. Like I said before, you can look at their ads that they're running. Um, you know, check out where they're ranking for certain keywords. So just in here, I'm going to type review again. See that they're on the on the um, growing trend, and then we can go through here and just yeah look at all the different reviews type keywords that they're they're um, getting traffic for and ranking for. You can look at best best type keywords, and again, like I said before, you just find these keywords, write an article about it, start building backlinks to that page, and Sure enough, you'll probably, there's a good chance that you'll rank if you make a really big post and go into detail, answer heaps of questions and things like that related to that keyword. Get your, you know, publish it online, submit it to Google, build backlinks to it. Sure enough, I'm, you know, if, if you're chasing 
easy to rank for keywords like some of these will be I'm sure that um, you'll start getting visitors you will start making sales and things like that if you follow the uh, review template that I've got on the AM ninjas blog and then yeah hopefully you start getting traffic to your site but um, you know I'd also build like if I just say I did a um, best Bluetooth speakers which is probably pretty competitive if I did a review like a, a page on that with all, a list of all different Bluetooth speakers I would then do a review of each of those speakers and link back to that page on each one of those reviews and I'd also maybe even do like a, a supporting page for each one of those as well just to get more juice flowing into those pages and try and sort of make it more relative to, to that keyword then I would start building backlinks to it sharing on social media and just trying to be everywhere you know do blog comments you know post it in forums and community sites and things like that but um, yeah I'm sure if you did this found these type of keywords because they are buyer intent um, I mean there's plenty of other buyer intent type keywords as well you could um, you know type in things like where to buy uh, what's um, what's the best or you know things like that or price product price um, if you get people landing on your pages and you've got all the information that they need and a link to that product or whatever you're promoting you will make sales because it just it works like a charm so hopefully you like this video I thought I'd do a quick rundown of SEM rush and you can get it by the link below this video or go to semrush.com um, I will be doing more videos very soon I've just been really busy and hopefully uh, you're all liking the AM Ninjas cheat sheet that's on the amninjas.com blog I'll put a link to that under the video as well don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already um, drop us a comment give me some feedback um, ask questions and if you haven't joined the Facebook group it is starting to grow at a rapid pace we're up to 7,000 members now um, lots of questions being asked really good answers in there I'm trying to be as you know active in there as possible helping people out and other people are helping out um, I've got another mod that's helping out which is Brendan he's doing a really good job and yeah it's just a really good community so far I'll put a link to that in the description below as well but you can get there by going to affiliate marketing ninjas.com that'll redirect you to the Facebook group have a good day don't forget you get your cheat sheet at amninjas.com and I hope you're crushing it online Thanks for watching and see you later.